Welcome back to more Final Fantasy. I wish I could talk a little bit slower. Final Fantasy 14. And last time we went through a couple dungeons. Wait, engages in general jabbery? What? Okay. Anyways, we went through the first three dungeons of the game, which is interesting. It's very fun. Um, and by very fun, I mean the two of them were okay. The last one was uh, the snooze fest. But we got through it. And so today, we're going to try to get to the first uh, major battle of the of the uh, of the game and have access to mounts finally. I also did a couple side quests off camera. Um, I unlocked the challenge log. Which, where's that? Oh, it's on the other box. Um, it, every single week, you can do challenges. It gives you experience and gill. And obviously, there's all these tiers for different kinds of stuff. Um, I also unlocked the aesthetician, so I might, may, um, I might have a different hairstyle at some point. We'll see if I want to change that. And I think that's about it for all I unlocked. Oh, I got uh, guild hest too. Not dungeons. These things right here. They're kind of like supposed to have to train you to do party content, but I don't really have to do them. There's no point to. But other than that, let's just get right back to the story. Talk to Mamodi. Oh yeah, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. You're just sitting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Okay. And we said it last episode, but I'm going to say it again. The infamous meme of all Final Fantasy XIV. Pray return to the waking sands. <laughs> you will understand why that's so bad. Uh, first time we go there, let me actually take you to the um, official way of going there, like the slow way. So you get the full experience of how bad this was back then. Mm. <laughs> Are we really doing this? Yes. I haven't been to Western Thailand yet, so I have to get the crystal still. Because I didn't start here. Or what I could do. Here, I'll make this a little bit faster. I'll go to the Chocobo Keep. And I'll get a chocobo to take me to Western Thailand. So I can make it a little bit faster. <laughs> and here we are. We are on our way to the Waking Sands. Follow, 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 follow. <laughs> you really follow me? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I expect that. Yes, hire Chocobo to Horizon. All right. One whole minute. Mm -hmm. So awkward being level 26 and the story quest was still level 15. Meanwhile, you're level 35. Yeah. <laughs> you're level 35 and she hasn't even unlocked her job yet because you have to beat a certain story quest to unlock jobs. So she's still a marauder. Kind of sad, but what can you do whenever you have experience boosts? And yes, I can see up here in the upper left, I do have a this right here, Grimoire Fandango. This is my next uh, class quest. I know it's here. I'll do it eventually whenever I get 
through what I want to get through today. Okay. Wee. So now we're here in Horizon. Let's uh, walk our way to the Waking Sands. This is the slow way to get there. There is a faster way to get here, but the first time to show off the rest Suffer of Suffer with us. Well, okay, one. Kind of that, but also to just look over this plot horizon and see new things. We are going to uh, take the scenic route. But in the future, if I can remember, I'm going to be taking the faster route just because, uh, yeah. You come here a lot. A lot, a lot. Yeah. There's there's a reason why the whole prayer return to the waking stands is a meme. It's not just because of someone saying it once or twice. They say it like a hundred times. And, and people who didn't know about the faster way of getting here would have to walk this distance. <coughs> Me. The whole time. Every single time. <coughs> and it was constant. <laughs> they actually uh, took out a lot of quests in the patches of 2.0, like 2.1 and 2.5. They took out a lot of quests. That's a hell of a tally. Um, so some of those quests that had you return here like five, six, seven times, they probably aren't in the game anymore. But we had to experience them. Yeah. And now. Probably, if not my favorite Lala fell in the game, definitely second favorite to Taru. She's awesome. Yeah, she's trolling you already. You have a long way to catch up to me, sir. Wow! The tower is definitely the cutest one. Mm. I don't know. I kind of like the other, the other one more. Momoto? Or Momodi? Uh uh. Kyle. She's mother. They're, they're both like the same to me. Like. Mama Kyle. <laughs> Mama Kyle. go see this whole thing is about. Oh, I was like, I like how I said Scion, but it literally is just one person. <laughs> okay, this one could be a bit of an unpopular opinion, but I actually so you are the adventurer of whom I've heard so much. Okay. This person talking, I actually don't hate her. A lot of people do, but Well met friend. My name is Minfilia, mm -hmm. and I lead the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Yeah, a lot of people hate her. I know I I understand it's because of the whole Waking Sands meme, but I have awaited your coming. I don't think she's that bad of a character. Please, be at ease. You are among friends here. You are among friends here. Meanwhile, they're all staying there staring at me. No doubt you are ripe to burst with questions. But have patience. All will be revealed in time. 
First, let me begin by telling you who we are and what we do. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, an order that transcends political boundaries. Our single objective is the preservation of the future of Eorzea. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. Their existence is a bane upon Eorzea, nay, the world at large, and we have striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. Our order is home to a number of individuals who, like you, possess a rare and special talent. This talent takes various forms, but one holds particular interest for us. Tell me, have you ever experienced a sudden, inexplicable loss of consciousness? Have you ever had the sensation of being pulled away from reality? Felt as though you were hovering in space, a mind without a body? All these things are the manifestations of your talent. Yours is the power to transcend the boundaries of the soul. A power known as the Echo. The Echo allows you to pass through the walls of a man's soul and hear the resonations of his past. You will be there in his memories and see things as he saw them. You may even interact with that which you see, though you cannot change the outcome of events. For another blessing, the Echo will enable you to know a man's mind even if you cannot comprehend his words. In short, the Echo is a truly extraordinary power, and this power is strong within you. It is only a shame that we cannot use it whensoever we choose. That's right. I too possess the Echo. With that established, let us return to the subject of the primals. But I like how she was like, oh yeah, everyone here is here because we have this thing called the Echo. And then she goes, oh yeah, I have it too. Like you didn't just say that a minute ago. So long as they exist, the realm cannot take so much as a single step towards true peace. Measures must be taken. Measures which transcend boundaries, be they of faction, race, language, or creed. And to do so, the Scions require the aid of those with our talent. Make no mistake, the Echo will be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. Without it, we cannot hope to save the realm. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea. But I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Why else would the gods entrust man with a gift so extraordinary, if not to have him use it? And so I implore you, lend us your power. And what if I say no? We can get a retainer now. Okay. So I wonder if I get a break from doing some story, I'm going to go set up for a retainer. Uh, retainers essentially are extra storage 
for some items you don't want to keep in your inventory. Uh, they can sell things on the market board for you so you can make some gill and you can also give them a class to do and they can go out and do exploration missions and gather things and bring stuff back for you so it's a uh, they're very very helpful you can only have two retainers on your character but you can pay uh real life money to add on to your subscription every month to add more retainers up to i believe seven extra so you can have up to nine retainers Obviously, we have to say yes. There's no, uh, can't say no and continue the story. So. I take it you will help us. Wonderful. I knew you wouldn't let us down. But come, I would introduce you to your friends in the Order. Tell me, does the name Charlian ring any bells? Charlian? Well, I mean, it does for me because I've played this whole game, but, uh... It used to be one of Eorzea's six city-states, and was situated in the northwest of Aldenard. The Charlians were the keepers of wisdom both old and new. Their mastery over magic and ether was unsurpassed, and even the Garlians knew to fear them. Among their number, there were a noble few who devoted their lives to safeguarding the future of Eorzea. When the realm began its descent into chaos, and their countrymen fled for the motherland, they alone chose to remain here. These noble men and women were called the Archons. Those same brave souls stand before you now. The masked woman is Ida, and beside her is Popolimo. The two are charged with surveying the Twelveswood. Hello there! Welcome. It's a very interesting way to say welcome. Very slow and drawn out. Um, Twelves was a different way of saying the Black Shroud. They watch over Gridania, essentially. Okay, my turn to introduce someone. That there is Thancred. He is our man here in Ulda, Jewel of the Desert. Welcome to the team. If I may, the lovely maiden beside me is named Yashtola. Limsa Lominsa has the pleasure of being under her care. Greetings. I have been expecting you. Last but not least is Uriange, who presides over all affairs within these halls. Pray seek him out whenever you have questions. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. The first line he has I'm already going, uh The words of a dear friend. I am glad of our meeting. At the Battle of Cartano, our leader was taken from us. But we did not stray from our purpose. We sought out Minfilia and others with her talent, and together established the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Along with the Archons, those blessed with the Echo play a pivotal role in our endeavor to forge a brighter tomorrow for the realm. Oh, I should also introduce you to Tataru, our clerk. She ensures that everything runs smoothly. to make your acquaintance. Oh, I forgot how she sounded in 2.0. Oh. <laughs> in time, I hope you will come to think of us as family. But without further ado, I would assign you your first task. Uriange, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently.
We have received a request for aid from the Immortal Flames. Thancred, would you do the honors? It would be my pleasure. Some days ago, a crystal caravan registered to Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern was waylaid and divested of its cargo. But there is more. Within a bell of the robbery, several people were reported missing from the shantytown outside the city. At a glance, one would assume the involvement of bandits, kidnappers, and coincidence. Such crimes are hardly uncommon, and the immortal flames deal with their like almost every day. However, this time we have reason to believe that a primal is involved. Aye. The evidence left behind implicates the Amolja, who are known worshippers of Ifrit. If we then consider the objects that were taken, there is no room left for doubt. The crimes were committed in the name of a primal. That you may better understand the nature of our struggle with the primals, I would have you play the leading role in this investigation. You have my thanks. If there is aught you wish to know, I recommend you speak with Thancred. He is well versed in the affairs of Ulda. Ever at your service, dear fellow. Hey, it's first day on the job. I'm already leading a interesting plot point. It's a, it's a lot. We're a newcomer. Mm, time to go to Camp Dry Bone. <laughs> Ah, yes, uh, <laughs> every time you unlock an achievement, at least for mapping out zones, you get experience for it, and uh, I leveled up from doing that. Just a little tiny XP boost. I hit level 27. Some big ants. Big little soldiers. Gotta be big and strong. Reminds me of Ground Dude. Those ants were ridiculous. <laughs> no, no, no. Those stink bugs were ridiculous. The stoma. The stink I bugs. I hate those things. Oh. They're creepy. In real life and in the game, I hate them. They're disgusting. Mm -hmm. um. Yeah, let's just say that I have arachnophobia a little bit. So whenever we play Grounded, I have to have the... Uh, Slather turned on all the way for the spiders. <laughs> I can't play the game with it. I just. <laughs> I remember the first I'm a baby. Time. I remember the first time you came into contact with a spider. You're like, nope, nope, nope. Because it was a wolf spider. Like, I, okay, I saw I saw the other ones and I was like, okay, I can kind of deal with it maybe a little bit. And then I turn around at some point and I see a wolf spider in my face. I panicked. <laughs> At that point, I was like, nope, 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 never again. Now it's a cute little bubble that floats around. <laughs> yeah, a little bubble with red eyes. It's like bouncing in the air. Yeah. I'm not ashamed. I can watch people play that game on YouTube without the uh, filter, but if I'm playing it myself, uh uh, sorry. No can do. Eighth right first. What are you doing? Hi. Mm-hmm. It wasn't too long of a truck though, making the camp <laughs> job. <out. laughs> like he just looked past me. Exactly. <laughs> no love. Yeah, that glamour dispeller. Well. Mm-hmm.
brittle murders at the Church of St. Adama Landama. That's... That's sad. People trying to pay respects to their deceased loved ones and they're getting killed. And, uh, yes, I know. You're right here. Hey. Hi. You, you, you literally hit the epitome of just sitting there like... <sighs> yep. You look like a Karen right now. Yeah, I look like a candy cane. A cotton candy. Also, Camp Tribo. This place has like three exits, and none of them go the way you think they, they're supposed to go. Like, this exit right here takes you going down this way. This exit right here, this ramp takes you up here. And this one takes you I hate up this, this way. place so much. Like, there's nothing that brings you a straight south. You have to kill something. Um, no, I gotta- Yeah, no, you're I have to get have ripe to. corpses. Yeah, but you're going to have to kill yourself beforehand. Yeah. Yeah, it took me a long time to understand how the leaf camp dry bone effectively. I hate this place so much. <laughs> Tuko Tuko. Oh, yes. Toka Boka. Toka Boka. Like Get Carby out. I see purple. Alright, what we got? Malsha. I see you casting spells over there. Damn. You forget level 27. <laughs> so we're picking up three dead bodies and they have their flowers in the inventory. And we just walk. You run? Or running. With dead bodies. In my pocket. In my pocket. This is not morbid at all. Someone just flew past me. They have my oh. Wee. Okay. Eh, yes. I'll be sitting here when here. you get back. Here. I'll drop dead bodies off of, at your feet. I'll be here when you get back. Why'd you slap me? <laughs> Just notice. Well, my chat's small, so I didn't see it. This merchant, Angust. Yeah. See what he has to say. Oh, is it this? Oh, it's this. This guy. Yeah, you, know, you look kind of funny looking up at me. Small fry. Appreciate your input. I mean, people are so flaky around here, man. Like, if you fart next to them, they run away from you. Yeah, because you fucking stink. I wonder where you got that from. <laughs> I mean, that's what he said. He's like, so much as pass wind next to them and they run away from you. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm scared. 
weird. This is not Costa del Sol, buddy. Uh, we'll see Costa del Sol later. You're going up to this church, right? Okay, uh, well, on your way there, can you just bring this embalmed corpse? There's a lot of death in this episode. Not because I'm killing things either. But, okay. I'll, uh, I'll do what you want me to do, I guess. Coffin or nothing, just throw them on the ground. That's sad. Oh, I was supposed to. Okay. I'm supposed to actually bury it. Oopsies. This guy has ties to the Calamity, like everyone else. It's a Marquez person. Or Marcus, whatever. Apparently Thanker doesn't like that he's hanging around with dead people. We can thank right. Still no better, uh, 
No bit of gear yet. The dungeon gear is really coming through. So we are on the hunt for a child who speaks to this uh, nun, per se. Might think she's involved in this uh, kidnappings. I really don't want to go there, but... Um, Yeah, the the commentary about people in the church doing stuff with uh, children, you know. Yeah. Oh, now we gotta go save her because you lost something. Great. Me more pressing matters. Okay. Ah, I'm lazy. Teleport. Are wrong places. All right, thank you, but so. So you followed this group of Amalja to their camp, but you won't go in there, and you're like, Oh, I brought you here because you can go in instead. Thanks, Thancred. You're a real swell guy, you know that? I have to fight them because, uh, can't get through otherwise. Yes, that did say what you think it said, and no, it's not that definition of that word. Definitely getting closer to something to figure out what's going on here, but uh, not really sure what yet. Wrong room, I think.
So someone's pretending to be a priest, huh? That's not good. Okay, so we're gonna dress up as poor people and try to catch the attention of this uh, false priest. Okay, I'll look terrible in this, honestly. It's not a good look, but it doesn't look bad. sitting there, huh? huh? Quiet. Oh, okay, fine, then I'll just leave. Jeez. Don't like refugees? What's wrong with us? Hey, my god. Don't seem very uh don't seem very nice to refugees. That was a waste of time. Okay, so I guess it wasn't a complete waste of time because we did find out about the, uh, the area that the poor people go to. Hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, of course it's him. Who would have thought? Kind of went to the Immortal Flames to say what's going on, but nope. You decided to sell your own friends to the Amalja for reasons unknown. Because you were being paid well enough. Yep. And this is a typical person living in old, uh, money over everything. We have our first instance of going back to the Waking Sands. Oh, let's go the fast way. Might be saying, Chu, why are you going to Limsa? Oh, you see, you take the crystal to the Arcanist Guild, and you go to the ferry that's over here. The ferry will take you to Vesper Bay. And getting off the ship, would you look at that? We're right here. Oh, that was the right building. I'm just blind. So yeah, much faster than going to Horizon and walking. to mix bubbly pots. Alrighty. Like I was saying before, goblins have great names. Yes. 
So now we're going to have access to Materia. So, <clears throat> since we're getting an introduction to Materia a bit, I want to see what this quest is. Ah, uh, Extraction. Yeah, I'm gonna just skip the text on this and get this real quick. That has to do with Materia. So, essentially Materia works in this game just like other Final Fantasy games. Uh, you can check a gear piece and it'll have a Materia slot. Like if you look at this, uh, weapon, the two green circles. Those are materia slots. You can put materia into gear pieces and it will give it stat bonuses. Just as I was saying, um, you can put materia into gear pieces. It will give you stat increases depending on what materia you put into the gear. And you can also extract materia whenever you get the soul bond of a particular item. So if you look at the gear piece, you can see that there's the green bar, which is its uh, durability. And there's also a blue bar next to it. That blue bar is a spirit bond. And when it gets filled up all the way, you can extract materia from the gear. Uh, the only way to put materia into a weapon or into a gear piece is by having the right crafter to, or having a crafter period to do it. Um, that's what he was kind of saying. With the whole learning crafty brain or whatever he said. Um, he's just saying if you want to put material into a weapon or a gear piece, you have to be a crafter to do it. Or get someone who is a crafter to do it for you. Did I get a better weapon? Let's see. Weapon coffer. Level 18 weapon. Maybe, maybe not. It's the same weapon I have already. Nice. Uh oh. That's an interesting picture right there. Drybone. Seems we have a uh, something to deal with, and uh, that image that was for the quests doesn't really look like it's a good thing. Okay. 
We're gonna spring a trap on the Almalja. This is definitely gonna go as planned. Nothing could go wrong. What could go wrong? Everything. 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 Can I get around these imps? Let's see. Ooh. Might go around that one. Uh, of course, there's a fate going on here. And they are not gonna like me being here. Let's see if we can sneak through. Wait, do I have to go? I think I can make that? Nope, that's not. Go this way. Let's see. Ooh. Did I make it? Wow. I did that without getting caught. That's that's surprising, honestly. Okay. Looks like they had backup. And he's laughing. Of course he is. What? Guess we gotta fight. <laughs> Unsurprising. Okay. There's a lot of people here. All the vendors. Well, looks like we're stuck here. We're stuck here until uh, we figure out what this bowl of embers is. Oh, it's time. Let's get set up for the bowl of embers. Wee 
Alrighty. I have to wait in like 10 minutes or so. I'm not ready. You're so ready. I'm not ready. Hello, Ifrit. Ugh. The healer has a lot more done. Huh? The healer has a lot more done this person, though. Don't have shit. That's the... That's the rogue. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha, you little tricks to get me to bow down to Ifrit didn't work. He's angry. All right, time to defeat Ifrit. Let's go. I'm guessing there's like no avoiding that. The burst? Yeah. No. I mean, maybe it's not that communable, but. Cave and loot. Hmm? That showed up on there too. In the recording.
Well, um... <laughs> <clears throat> the whole enemy felt thing, that, uh, that doesn't usually happen. That's because of a program that we have that's doing a April Fool's joke today. The uh, Dark Souls reference. Well, I guess it's not Dark Souls. It'd be uh, Elden Ring. But, yes. That doesn't usually show up. <laughs> There you go. We got through Ifrit. I wonder what they were uh, doing here, scouting out the area, seeing Ifrit for themselves. <clears throat> Sands.
apparently, uh, well, that's not the only place that has primal problems. Once a soul becomes tempered, they have to kill them. Sag. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, 
So I get to choose my grand company now. Well, not right now, but soon. Link Pearl. I get a cell phone. Mommy said I've grown up a bit. I have a cell phone now. Okay, well, I'm going to go to uh, Gridania and get this all started, but uh, I'm actually going to end this off for now because this whole section is a long cut, like three long cut scenes in a row, and I've already been going for almost two hours. So I will save these cut scenes for the next episode. Thankfully, I got through Ifrit, which is what I wanted to do. Which means we are just one step closer, a little bit, a little bit closer, to getting that mount. And once I get that mount, all those uh, side quest markers you're seeing in the map, they might be gone. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you might end up seeing me a couple of levels ahead in, in one of the upcoming videos. That might be why. Okay, but until then guys, thank you for watching. If you're new around here, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you liked this type of content, then hit the like button. And also, 
comment down below um, what grand company you would choose if you could pick one of the three. Um, obviously, by the time I get to see this, I'm already going to be in one, but it could uh, change my decision on what company I want to go with. Because as Manvilia said, you can change whatever you want. There's no, uh, you're not locked in. So, until next time, guys, see you then.